Hello there guys and welcome to our I believe it's our 22nd C++ tutorial and in our previous two tutorials we discussed uh, um, integer pointers and this will actually be another tutorial on integer pointers but this will actually be our final tutorial on integer pointers so let's go ahead and get started on this one go ahead and open our main.cpp if you don't have it already go ahead and pause the video and prepare it and then go ahead and get started so let's go ahead and type our code today today we're going to actually perform some simple calculations using pointers so basically we're going to increment and decrement numbers but using pointers uh, integer values basically so let's go ahead and declare a new integer value and call it value and then integer pointer and I'm going to call my pointer all right Let's go ahead and say pointer is equal to the address of value. So what I will go ahead and do here, I'm going to go ahead and print out. I'm going to say value equals, and I'm going to put the value. I'm going to put end line. Well, put the value first, sorry, and then an end line. So what we should see here is basically if we as well, actually, we didn't assign a value to it, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to type pointer. So we're going to go ahead and assign this to, let's say, 1000. Okay, so our value now is equal to 1000. So what we should see here is 1000. Next, before we go to our next line, let me leave a space here. Let's go ahead, I'm going to type pointer, and if you remember, plus plus basically adds 1, so we are incrementing by 1. And then if I type C out again, value, let's say equals, and I type value again, and I put an end line. And then let me go ahead and do another, let's go ahead and put another now I'm going to do the minus minus operation which will decrement one, not increment it. Let's go ahead and output this value as well. Just so you can take a look. And type value. And line. Alright, let's go over our code very quickly. So we declare our integer value and our pointer and our integer pointer. So like we did in our previous tutorial, we set our pointer to point to the address of value. Then here we put asterisk pointer we're telling we're telling this pointer to change the data or manipulate the data basically change whatever is located in that address already to be changed to this data to basically an integer to this to 1000 so now that address contains this data which is an integer of value 1000 and if we print out value, value is basically the uh, the address that the pointer is pointing at and, and just manipulated. So if you print out value, we should see 1000. Then down here, we're telling the pointer to change, to increment. If you remember plus plus, it's add 1 to whatever number, it's already there. So since we have 1000 here and we're pointing to it, we're telling, we're telling it to increment the data that's inside that address by one so it's incremented by one so this should be 1001 and down here we're printing that value the value is just the um it will go inside that address and take the data and print it out here so now the new data that we man that we manipulated using this pointer it should be 1001 so down here we should be able to see 1001 and then on the next line we're do doing the same thing we're pointing to that address again we're going inside and getting the data and then we decrement that by one. So it was 1001 from up here since we changed it. Then we'll, it, it will subtract one. So that should go back to 1000. So once we print out our last line here, we should see 1000 once again. So we should see 1000, 1001, and 1000. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this just to check. All right, so it was built successfully. Let me go ahead and run it. So as you can see, we do see value equals 1000. 1001 and 1000 just like we expected so i hope uh, i hope uh, this uh, this tutorial guys helps you understand a little bit better 
will understand pointers a little bit better and how they function and um, so stick around for our next tutorial and that will be on character pointers which are a little bit a little bit like, I believe more complex just a tiny bit uh, so anyways thank you for watching this video guys a lot and please leave comments because that tells me what I'm doing wrong and, and so I can help so I, so I can improve and make better tutorials and please please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please check out all my other videos and leave comments as much comments as possible and thank you for watching this video and please please subscribe thank you guys